I am so excited about the field trip today. I love going to the zoo. It's a great chance to see biology in action. Yep, it'll be fun. Wow, look at the size of that elephant, Gobi. Yeah, wow. Elephants are the largest land animals in the world. There are actually two kinds of elephants, the Asian elephant and the African elephant. You see how big his ears are? Elephants have big, thin ears made up of a lot of blood vessels to help cool them down when they get hot. The elephant's trunk can be used for a lot of things too. It can be used to lift wood as well as suck up water like a straw. When they're in deeper water, the elephant can even use the trunk like a snorkel. Amazingly, elephants have no natural predator. The main risk to elephants are us humans. <sighs> Who cares if we're their biggest threat? They're only animals after all. Now this guy is very interesting. Although he looks cute and harmless, they can be extremely aggressive and are considered one of the most dangerous animals in all of Africa. Staying in the water helps them keep their temperature down in a hot environment. And while they spend a lot of their time in water, hippos do venture onto land to eat their main source of food, grass. And don't think because they're fat that they're slow. On land, hippos can reach up to 30 miles an hour, easily outrunning humans. Hippos are a threatened species because of habitat loss and poachers. Hippos sound mean, so maybe the poachers had a reason. Wow, Gobi, check this place out. It's huge and has all sorts of tropical birds in here. Did you know that the Amazon rainforest has around 1,300 species of birds? Some of these species include the toucan, the macaw, parrot, and even hummingbirds. Most of the birds in the rainforest are brightly colored to better camouflage themselves in the also brightly colored canopy. This is the layer where the plants begin to overlap, blocking out much of the sun and capturing most of the rainfall. But due to deforestation, the permanent destruction of forests, some science predicts the end of the rainforest happening soon. It's really kind of sad. Who cares? They're just dumb birds. Why don't you care about these beautiful creatures? They can teach us so much. They're just animals, Chester. They aren't humans. Why should I care about them? They don't concern me. That's ridiculous, Gobi. They aren't just animals. They're wonderful creations made with a purpose. Psalm 50, 10 through 11 said, For every animal of the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird in the mountains, and the insects in the field are mine. You know who said that? God said that. Every creature on earth was created by Him. Proverbs 12, 10 says, The righteous care for the needs of their animals, but the kindest acts of the wicked are cruel. God made animals just like He made man, but we were given rule over animals not to do with them whatever we want, but to look after them and take care of them. It's not about liking animals. It's about taking care of the things we were given responsibility for. Showing love to the lesser things is also a good way of seeing a small glimpse of God's love for us. Do you get it now? You sure do talk a lot about this God and Bible stuff. Although I don't know if I agree with you about the Bible, what you are saying does make sense. I guess we as humans do have a certain responsibility towards animals, just like a father has responsibility to a child. I guess I should start treating them with a little more respect. We all live together on the same planet after all. Right! And we all have to work together. Small pieces in a giant puzzle called Earth. That's the way God intended it. Well, okay, you say so. Now come on, let's go to the tiger exhibit. I hear they are giving out free pieces of meat so you can hand feed them to the tigers. Really? This is the best field trip ever! <sighs> Chester, again, that was a joke. Oh, we really need to work on that with you.